In today's video, we're going to be looking at an Asus 27-inch 1080p 144Hz gaming monitor. Now, this thing is from 2018, so it's only about three years old, but it's got the white screen of death. Now, when you Google this model number with white screen, you get over 10,000 hits. So, obviously, this is a common TV with a common problem. The white screen. Let's see if I can get it turned back on again. Let's see here. Yeah, there it is. So... Seems to be a common problem doing some Googling on this model and lots of people are complaining of the same monitor with the same problem. So let's get into it. So here I have the monitor tore down. Pulled the board out of the casing just to figure out how it works. And it has a 12 volt supply. There's, there's no T-con like there is like a traditional TV. It's kind of all built into the LCD flex. But there's a 12 volt supply coming through this cable and it's good here and it does make 12 volts at the 12 volt, volt uh, test point which is nice they actually have test points that are labeled on here there's 12 volts in but if we look close on the lcd flex here let me get a little better zoom in here um probably getting washed out from the uh, microscope light but there is a small surface mount fuse right off the 12 volt supply and when I check it, oops, I'm slipping there. Okay, so right now I'm on the fuse. I'm getting no continuity. But why did the fuse blow? Is there a short to ground? Let's go on the other side of the fuse. It actually goes right into this diode. And yes, there's a short to ground. So something over in this little power supply area is nuked. And I got to find out what's causing the short. I started at the 12 volts in and made my way down, checking all the capacitors and diodes for shorts. And I did come to a transistor that is showing up as a short, so I'm going to remove it out of circuit, check it out of circuit, and see if that is the cause of the short on this power rail. I just removed transistor in location Q308, and the short is now gone across that 12 volt power supply. I check with diode mode, I actually get uh, a voltage across it. And here is the transistor, part number 12H34. And when I check it, I get the 0 0.002 volts across it. So I'll check it in the other direction just for shits and giggles. And actually it might be easier to flip my leads. This thing's pretty small. I'll try it in the other direction, and still 0 0.002, so that guy's definitely shorted. Now it's time to get rid of the blown fuse. I don't have the same package size available. I have a 1206, which is humongous compared to the original one. Uh, the one I'm installing is rated at a half an amp. I have no idea if that's right or not. It's just what I have on hand. But I have to scrape away and make a new pad for it to fit. Here I'm just using some rubbing alcohol to clean up all the old flux. And now to install the new MOSFET. I am using an A09T as you can see on the part there. Uh, this is an N-channel MOSFET rated at 30 volts at 5.7 amps. New MOSFET is soldered on, and now it's time to test for image. Fingers crossed. Hope this works. 
Holy image. Oh, it's working. I can't believe it. Uh, I'll get this assembled and flipped around so you can see. Powered up. Let's see if we can get some life out of this thing. Ah, there it goes. Well, that wasn't so bad. Now, I know this is a common problem because when you Google the model number um, with white screen on it, you get 10,000 hits. And there's even some threads on Reddit claiming that even the manufacturer doesn't know how to fix this. I don't know if I can believe that, but uh, I think it's fitting that I test this thing. Well, I was going to test out this monitor with the Xbox I just fixed, but it looks like Microsoft's having some issues on their end with the network, so I guess I won't be doing that. Special thanks to Brian Swanson again for letting me dig through his piles of junk and letting me have this. Uh, down in the description of this video is where you're going to find all the part numbers and locations. And uh, if yeah, this is, was a pretty easy fix, and there seems to be a lot of them. So if you either find one of these in the wild with white screen, pick it up. If you own one of these with white screen, look into getting it fixed. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.